This is a first for me, the first time I've ever done a blog entry from the bath. So I'm very careful how far I go with the camera there. I went into the shower this morning and I don't know whether the shower head is playing up or it's actually broken, but water was just trickling out. So I thought to myself, I will have a bath. And do you know, I haven't had one for years. I have a shower once or twice a day, but I haven't been in a bath for years. And it's taken me back all those years ago when I was a kid growing up. I lived on a council estate. Uh, too much cold coming in there. <laughs> That's all part of the, the bath process, isn't it? And I grew up on a council estate and we didn't even have an immersion eater, never mind a shower. And I can remember as a youngster sitting on the sink being washed down in the, uh, the sink itself in the kitchen. And then we had a gas poker that was open and the flames would all come out and you'd be by the uh, fire in a, in a bigger tub. That's when you got older. And then I can remember when the council came and fitted an immersion eater. And that was a real novelty. You had to put it on for a, a few hours before you actually wanted the bath and you could only fill it up once. So if one person had a bath, the next one had to wait a few more hours. And it was many years later before I actually had my first shower. I think memories are great, aren't they? And for me, it's not just about looking back and recalling some of the stories of your life that's gone, but also as well, it helps you to appreciate the present. That's very important to know where we've come from. And as I've said, I grew up in that environment where, and I've described the bath and the sink and the, the tub by the fire. And now in later life, I've never forgotten any of that. I've never forgotten where I came from. I've never forgot the experiences of growing up. My dad was a labourer. My mum used to clean on the evenings. They used to have cleaners go around offices and banks and all that sort of stuff, schools or whatever, to make some money. We never even had a car. My dad couldn't afford a car. But we used to get by. Didn't feel poor. I suppose by today's standards, you, you would be. But it's important in life to look back and to reflect and to be thankful for what we have in the present. And I'll tell you what, this might be a necessity today because I couldn't take a shower, but I'm actually gonna look forward to lying back in a bath full of bubbles and soapy water. And when I was a kid, I used to sit or lie in the bath for so long, when you came out, you were wrinkled like a prune. And I've got the feeling that that's going to be the case today.